Well, you, you've been performing as a wrestler for you know, years and years now. What's the plan? You perform in huge crowds for live audiences in the arenas. What is the difference between preparing for a performance in front of a crowd in an arena and performing in front of a pack? In WWE, generally we have thousands and thousands of people who are there and we feed off of their energy and we interact with them and we know if we're doing something right because you, you get the right reaction, you know if you're doing something wrong because you often get no reaction. Uh, when you're on a studio set, it's very antiseptic, you know, I'm sure you guys have, have all seen and done and that's why I have a great deal of respect for actors is the, their ability to still emote emotion and bring emotion out when it's not out there and it's all come from inside, you know. In WWE, there's a lot of it out there, so, you know, we, we get our stuff inside, but also we can feed off of them, you know, our fans. And that's not that's not there in, in a studio setting. And that's really the big difference, you know. And then also, uh, you know, you get done with the match and you're like, man, that was great, or eh, it wasn't so great tonight, right? Um, hopefully, it's great more often than not. But, you know, with this, I get to find out if it's great like a year from now when I finally get to see her, right? So there's, not, there's not that instant gratification of walking back through a curtain, you know, and knowing that you did a good job or, or thinking, well, you know, I could have done this differently, right? Or I should have done this. Um, well, this is your second outing with the See No Evil films. In the first one, you had this very cool, hulking kind of killer character. In this uh, entry, was there anything specifically that you wanted to bring to this character in this outing? I wanted to make sure that, that we had, that the character had some depth, uh, you know, and, and there was some personality and there there was a reason for why he was doing what he was doing. Uh, you know, so on the, on, on the one hand, uh, I think that it's better when the villain is human because if not, in this particular genre, you know, um, because if not, well, then, you know, then it's just a machine and, you know, who's really, who really cares? You know, um, when when the guy is a human being, uh, when there's emotion involved, and when there's rationale for why he's doing what he's doing, to me that makes it more scary. And you can also get a little bit more more inside of the villain and, and realize, okay, you know, um, could that be me? Maybe if I was in this situation, like the Soska sisters have have uh, their movie American Mary, which is like that. She's just a normal person, and then something happens, and she completely snaps. And, you know, you're thinking about it and, and you're wondering, you know, wow, if something horrendous like that happened to me, what would I do about it? Would I act in the same ways? You know, maybe not, but, you know, those fantasies sort of play through your mind too, right? You know? Um, so that's what, that's what we tried to do, at least from my perspective, was, was try to bring some depth to the character. Uh, what is it about horror that draws you in as opposed to, like, say, action, like some of your fellow oh. superstars? Well... Um, I would like to do some other other genres, actually, um, if, if the opportunity presented itself. Um, you know, one one thing that's sort of cool about the horror genres, you can do you can do anything, and you can actually incorporate action into it, which we do in this movie to some extent. We we have some good um, you know some good fight sequences, uh, which I, more so than you're going to see of other movies uh, in this genre, particularly. Um, and then also you do get to explore some of the darker side of humanity, you know, and you put people in extreme situations and see what they do. Um, uh, I'm, I'm probably more into the, the psychological and emotional side of things maybe than the visual side, you know. Um, the thing that really scares me is like the Hannibal Lecter characters, you know, the guys that are, you know, on the outside they look like normal human beings, but on the inside there's something really wrong and the fact that he's a lot smarter than you are, you know. Um, I'm not, you know, Jaws doesn't scare me. You know, frankly, most of the, you know, most of the big hulking movie monsters don't scare me because it's like, you know, big deal. I mean, you know, big deal, right? You know, but what scares you is, is those guys who, you know, the psychological monsters. They actually probably live inside of most people and they would come out giving, you know, given the correct circumstances, which hopefully never happens. In that respect, I, I think, I, that would be something that I'd really like to play. Actually, be you know something like that, more of a psychological you know type monster. Uh, um, in WWE, when we took the mask off of Kane in 2003, uh, part of where I got the idea for how I was going to portray that was um, I can't remember the guy's name, but the Red Dragon character, right? And the guy he had the hair lip, but it had been fixed, 
but he still thought that he was a monster on the outside, but really all the scars were on the inside. So, you know, so maybe for inspiration too, that's part of where it comes from.